This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Pastorella multicida, Brucella species, and Francella tularensis, which you can see right here. So notice that we're combining these three into one video. To begin the story, notice that Batman is coming out of his Batmobile on a dirt bike. Even though he has his mask on, we all know that his real name is Bruce Wayne. Bruce sounds kind of like Brucella, which should help you remember that this part of the image is about Brucella. Next, notice that we've shown the Eiffel Tower, so we can be sure that this scene is taking place in France. Most people associate the Eiffel Tower with France, and France sounds like Francisella. Therefore, this should help you remember that this part of the image is all about Francisella tularensis. Finally, notice that we've shown this pastor guy. You can tell he's a pastor because he has a cross necklace around his neck and a bag of Bibles next to his feet. Pastor sounds like Pastorella, which should help you remember that this part of the image is all about Pastorella multicida. So now that we've introduced the three organisms, let's take a second to discuss the basic organization of the image. As you can see, the three organisms are in their own little areas. Brucella on the left, right here. Pastorella in the middle, right here. And Francisella on the right, over here. As we go through the image, we'll discuss Brucella first, then Francisella, and then we'll finish with Pastorella. After we're finished, you should be able to easily compartmentalize the information based upon how we've organized everything. Okay, with this in mind, let's continue discussing the image. As you can see, we've made the sunset appear very pink and red. Just like in our other videos, this is to help you remember that Brucella, Pastorella, and Francisella are all gram-negative. This is a gram stain of gram-negative cocobacilli, more specifically, Brucella. However, Pastorella and Francisella also exhibit a similar morphology when viewed under the microscope. Notice that the organism is red or pink appearing, and in some areas, it appears circular or caucus shaped. And in other areas, it looks a bit more rod or bacilli shaped. This is why all three of these organisms are considered gram-negative cocobacilli. Okay, let's return to the image. Let's return our attention on Bruce Wayne and discuss Brucella in more detail. Brucella species are facultative intracellular organisms. This just means that they can survive inside or outside of cells. To help you remember this, we've shown Bruce Wayne ejecting his dirt bike out into the open world. He was just inside of his Batmobile, but now he's outside. I guess you could say he thrives inside of the Batmobile and outside of it on his bike, just like a facultative intracellular organism can survive inside or outside of cells. So Bruce Wayne ejecting out of his Batmobile on his dirt bike for facultative intracellular. 